Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy, uh, new to the website, um, signed on for a couple of reasons, um, you know, I, I have my own journey of ups and downs with weight loss, and, you know, know how it feels, I've been there, and I want to help other people, uh, my story started, you know, I was a little heavy growing up, I went away to college, put on the freshman 40, went up and down, came home, totally neglected my health, and went down a very dark road, uh, very bad road, filled with substance abuse, um, you know, it, and it brought me down, and it, nothing about my life was good, um, you know, when I, I, I went to college for psychology, I was trying to figure out what was wrong with me, I was always uncomfortable, and the, I suffered, you know, and I was getting hit with depression, trying to figure out what was wrong with me. Um, while I was away at college, I started working in restaurants, found something that I loved. When I came home from college, I continued. I was supposed to start in the Trade Center the week after September 11th. I guess it would have been the 17th, would have been the following Monday, and for obvious reasons, I didn't. Um, wound up taking a job a few buildings over at another exchange. <laughs> and struggled with my weight my entire life. Um, you know, part of the, part of it was the substance abuse, couldn't take care of myself, um, you know, and, and just bad things. I was, a, you know, doing really, I was not a good person. It cost me my friends, it was costing me my health. Um, 28 years old, I go to the doctor for a checkup. Get a phone call, I need you back something's wrong. Normally, the way it works, you know, the doctors that I've been to, if you have an alright checkup, you don't hear from them again. So he said, I need you back. I'm like, alright, bad news. Um, I was 28 years old. Uh, cholesterol was through the roof. Uh, my blood pressure was way too high. Um, I was 260-something pounds. Uh, what else? Liver failure, kidney failure, gout, diabetes, you know, type 2, uh, it was the, the heavy, the type of heavy weight, um, not, I was not born with it, all so sorts of signs of health problems, um, you know, there was a heart problem in there, in addition to the blood pressure, and my doctor asked me, he said, I was 28, he says, you are not going to live to see 30. Um, I was really hoping not to see 30 anyway with the depression. Um, if anyone has suffered from depression, you know what I'm hinting at there. Um, you know, and he said, before you you die, is there anything you would like out of life? And I said, actually, yes. Um, you know, I don't want to die like this. I, I want to at least say I tried. Um, you know, I, I don't want to be a disgrace to my family. The, the younger of two siblings, uh, my mother still thinks I'm her baby, I'm 38 years old, uh, but, you know, I didn't want to be a disgrace to my family, you know, I didn't want to go out like that, I wanted to at least say I tried, um, my doctor, he recommended a couple of things, um, you know, in addition, obviously, I had to get sober, um, I had to change my entire way of life, and, he did something, he made a suggestion of something that I didn't even know existed. He says, I want you to go see a nutritionist. I'm like, what is that? I'd never heard of a nutritionist before. He said, what is that? He says, well, if you don't want to die this way, you want to at least say you tried. It's going to help you lose weight. Your diabetes is going to go away. The gout's going to go away. You know, he's going to help you stop drinking. And, you know, because that's not good for your diet. Um, we're going to give you some help. And he, we were talking about ways to get sober and live a new life and try these things. And I went to the nutritionist. By the time that I got there, I was 200 and f 240 pounds. This was in June 2008. Um, you know, we talked about different things I can eat, What I, we went over what I was eating for breakfast, I remember I had to be at work at 7 o'clock every morning, 6 days a week, so I was getting up at 5 o'clock, 
and my breakfast considered was consisted of a liter of Diet Coke, Chex Mix, some random chocolate from the local, you know, there's a 7-Eleven down the block from where I worked, and, you know, nothing good. I was drinking, you know, and the Red Bulls all day, and, and nothing good, and I told him this, and he wrote down on paper, this is what you're doing to yourself. You know, we went over the sodium content, the calorie content, the fat, the everything. He says, you are killing yourself from the inside. And and I had told him about that. I, you know, that the, the suicidal thoughts, that I wanted to at least say I tried. Um, you know, and one of the first things he asked is, do you think you can stop drinking? And my answer was, no, I cannot stop on my own. There is no way I will be able to stop. He says, you know, alcohol, most people, you know, I've heard it in some people, that they don't eat, so they lose weight. You know, alcohol has calories in it. It puts on weight. So how long do you think you can go? I didn't really give myself long. Um, I was drinking every day, and I was eating like that every day. And he held me accountable. What we were doing at first was uh, going... I was going to him every week. And then getting monthly blood test results from my doctor. I'd have to see my regular doctor once a month. Taking blood tests, and... In the first month, the strangest thing happened. I told you at my highest, I was 260. When I got to the nutritionist, I was 230. Um, and after a month, at a month, I was down to 200 pounds. I'm like, what the hell just happened? Um, how did that happen? I didn't get it. And... He says, well, your blood pressure's coming down, your cholesterol's coming down, this is going down, that's going down, your, your, your liver is coming back a little bit. And I couldn't believe it. And he says, would you like to keep going? Of course I would. Like, you know, I just can't believe I lost all this weight. I had started going to the gym. I was walking the treadmill for half an hour, three or four days a week, which personally I don't think is enough, but somehow it was working. And at the end of the second, my, my goal was, let me inter put this in there, my goal was to weigh as much as I did the day I graduated high school. When I weighed, when I graduated high school, I was 170 pounds. So I was going from 240, two, 230, okay, I wanted to be 170 pounds, that's 60 pounds. And as I go to the nutritionist, going to the gym, and I'm finding that I really enjoyed it. You know, as much as it, I, I was exhausted from work, I was getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning every day, I would leave work at 6 o'clock at night, and and I was tired. And But I would force myself to go to the gym, I was out of the way, and I was starting to enjoy it. Um, within six months, I think it was either six or seven months with that nutritionist, I was 144 pounds. From 230 to 144 is 86 pounds. Couldn't believe it. Um, I, I was like jumping for joy. And one of the best compliments I got was, now I hit 144 pounds, and a couple of months later, I live in a beach community, I live, my, my building overlooks the Atlantic Ocean, and... I'm sorry, I'm realizing, oh my god, this is actually working. And I didn't think I could stay sober either, to tell you the truth. I, I really didn't give myself six months. I was giving myself, like, a week. Um, but I had gotten down to 144 pounds, and now, at this time, I'm now sober for, like, nine months. And, um, and I went and had another visit with the nutritionist, and couldn't believe it. And now, being in a beach community, I'm starting to get jacked up. Like my, I, I couldn't believe I had muscles, and I had pecs, and I, there's a picture of me, me and my buddy on the beach, and he's average looking. He's not, you know, he's not heavy. He's not, he, he's not heavy at all. Eh, he could probably lose ten pounds, but that's not my place. Um, and the two of us on the beach, and I, me next to him, and he's a perfectly average guy, nothing wrong, we're not heavy at all. And I couldn't believe 
that I was standing there jacked up. And now I started to put weight back on, but it was all muscle. And I couldn't, and I'm, you know, I'm going to the gym, I'm hitting the exercise every day, I'm doing the, the cardio and the weights. And um, my sister made a comment on, I had just signed up for Facebook, and I put this picture up. And my sister says, I still remember the comment, it was nine years ago. Holy crap, Jer! My name's Jeremy. Holy crap, Jer! Jer you're Diesel. What a com! I couldn't believe it. Um, I didn't give myself a chance to get sober, but when I had got down to 144 pounds, you know, I was telling my the the nutritionist and my doctor um, that I was going to go treat myself to a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue, which is three hundred dollars, and they both uh, said the same thing that they thing was is you your body is now entirely different do not do it you have one drink one you have a problem and two your body will handle it differently you haven't had a drink in nine months and you're you're how many pounds less and your body will not handle it the same way it will be worse you are now too thin and you will have three shots of that Johnny Walker Blue, you're going to be hammered. Do you think you can go to a year? Do you think you can go another three months living the way you're now living, sober and, and with the weight loss? And I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. I, I, I can't believe I'm sober this long. They said, if you can go the next three months, you know, then come back to us and tell us you want to you want to go back to that lifestyle. You want to drink again, the eating, whatever, and the, and whatever else I was doing. If you say then, but we'll give you our blessing. And I went back to the new both the nutritionist and the doctor, and they both asked the same question. What do you think? Do you want to do you want to drink again? Do you want to go back to that life? And my answer was. You know what? I don't think I do. I don't think I want to... I think I like this way a lot better than what I was doing. Um, eating the junk I was eating, loading myself up with with Red Bulls all day long, and coffee just taken from the HR office, just taking coffee all day long, and... and you know, I said, I don't think I want to go back to that life. And in that time... Um, I wound up losing my job. Uh, there was 2008. The company was doing layoffs. I decided to go to, you know, take a... It wasn't regular school. It was like a, a trade school, like a small trade school. It's... Well, it's all over. I live on Long Island. They're all, you know, but it's... I don't know if they're in the, anywhere else. Or anywhere else in New York or northeastern New Jersey. But they're all over Long Island. And I went and... I initially went for... I think it was EKG. I want to be an EKG tech. And to get the certificate, I had to take another similar class, like phlebotomy or something like that. And I decided to say, I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to go for a personal trainer license. I went, I studied, and I did it. And I loved it. I couldn't believe what was happening to my life. And I went and got the personal trainer license. And I passed it one shot. And I don't remember what the score was, but I passed, and, uh, and I did it, a nationally accredited certification, American Council on Exercise, ACE, and I had just started working, um, people in the Northeast will have heard of it, the rest of the country, I'm not sure, it's kind of like New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C., Delaware, Maryland, I think I said D.C. already, um, the company's called Town Sports International. It's New York sports clubs in New York and New Jersey. It's Philadelphia sports clubs in Pennsylvania and Delaware. It's Washington sports clubs in Washington and Maryland. And big company. And I had just started working and became called them the day I passed the exam. Couldn't believe it. I worked there for about another year and a half after, a little over a year and a half after that. I had already been there for a couple of months and in that time I bounced between a couple I worked at three different clubs near they're all local to where I live decided no was it another year and a half or two and a half years it was something like that 
um, decided, I'm like, I can't believe my life is going so well. Two years sober happens, I, you know what, I think I want to go to school. A friend of mine had gone to a local college that, you know, you probably, um, New York City area has heard of it, it's not a major university. He had gone for um, nuclear medicine technology. It was, it's EKGs, CAT scans, MRIs, x-rays, things like that. I thought about it. He told me about this experience he had. He loved it. He was raving about it, and it sat with me. And I said, you know what? I'm two years sober. i got to do something. I have the personal trainer license, and it's, something's got to give. Um, so I decide I'm going to apply to that college for that nuclear medicine technology, or I'm going to apply somewhere else, another local college, to be a nutritionist got the first one for the EKG, the nuclear medicine, got accepted, <sighs> let me wait for the second one, a couple days later, a week late, two weeks, whatever it was, got from the second college, you've been accepted to the nutrition program, so, uh, jumping for joy, I knew the day that I got accepted for the nutrition program, that's what I was doing, I, there was no longer, it, was, it wasn't a choice, it's just, it had to happen, like the other one out the window, went back, um, single hardest thing I've ever done. I will tell you, for people who are trying to lose weight, you know, and, and, and get muscle, that was not the hardest thing I've ever done. Getting sober was not the hardest thing. That was the second hardest thing I ever did. The hardest thing I did was go back to school to be a nutritionist. The single hardest thing I've ever done. It blew the, the losing weight out of the water, made it seem like a... a, a uh, I walked around the block for, for four minutes. Um, hardest thing I've ever done. However, it also changed my life. It was the best thing I've ever done. I had to learn how to study and work and adapt. And there were some really hard classes in there. Anatomy and physiology twice. Because um, there's two there's two of them, at least in this area. I think, for, I think there is like an unofficial standard for an, uh, anatomy and physiology throughout the colleges in the in America but um, uh, don't hold me to that but it, it I can't tell you how much it changed my life to work to study to learn to plan time I live in a, on the beach I, you know I want to go there and the, you know and fit the gym in and working full-time and doing internships and again it changed my life now, in that time of being, actually, no, let me go back one step. Two years in, I get a hernia surgery. What happened? I was working out every day, not stretching enough, and I pulled a hernia in my groin. I, I went to immediately to worry, oh my God, I'm, I'm going to die, you know. I'm like, wait a minute, I learned about this. I have a hernia. I, went, I wound up having surgery in the local hospital, like, you know, right, it was right around the corner from where I worked at the time. It's five miles from the town I live in you know, had to take some time off, and, you know, that was, a, I, I, you know, I passed that on as experience to not do what I did, I made a mistake, I was working out too hard, not stretching enough, not enough rest, and I hurt myself, um, but let me go back to where I was, that, you know, in this time of school, I found out, got bad news from the doctor, congestive heart failure. I was I had lost all the weight. I'm now sober. I was sober for four years. Complaining to the doctor that I didn't feel well. I was 32 years old, and something's wrong. I'll spare you the whole story. But within a few days, you got a problem. Since me to a cardiologist, you know it's not like a broken toe. Go to the cardiologist that I recommend. Um, you got a problem. You have congestive heart failure. Do us a favor. Go get a second opinion. We go to another doctor, another cardiologist near, you know, not in the same county, but like 35, 40 miles away. Um, he's an, a professor of cardiology at NYU Med School. Come back, you got a problem, a big, big problem. In that time of the drinking the drug and the not eating right, my heart took so much damage that it, it not, it, it, it took a hit physically it was not cholesterol it was not you know 
anything died. There was structural damage to my heart from the excessive weight that I had. It was now gone. It was gone for four years, 150 pounds, having open heart surgery. Um, it was congestive heart failure. It replaced the valve because of what I was doing. Um, this happened while I was in school for to be a nutritionist. Um, you know, and and that was not the hardest thing I've ever done. Oh, well, don't get me wrong. That was, it would hurt. It was bad pain. But the physical pain goes away. Now, what I can tell you about with the physical pain going away is, I'm going to give you the flip side of that. The things that I was doing for myself, the losing weight, the going to the gym, going back to school, those are with me permanently. My weight has been up and down. It's been, I, you know, I went through a depression, the pill, you know, the putting on weight, you know, not exercising. I then had another hernia a year after the, the heart surgery. Then I tore a muscle in my foot, which the doctor said, don't do surgery. It's a bad idea. I was bugging them, just get it over with. You know, let me get out of the pain already. Wound up, it did wound up healing by itself albeit it took a long time, um, it was plantar fasciitis. In this time, you know, my weight's gone up and down. It's not what I learned in a textbook. I, I bring the experience of, I struggle with it myself. Um, you know, it said, I mentioned I'm, I'm sober, it's mentioned in meetings that the, the therapeutic value of one addict helping another addict is without parallel. I'm going to substitute that. For one person, you know, the, the therapeutic value of one person who has a, struggles with their weight, helping another person who struggles with their weight is without parallel. You know, I'm not, yet I'm sure there are wonderful trainers out there who all used to play football, basketball, whatever, hockey is another hard one, that know their stuff on paper. You know, and I'm sure they experienced the, doing the weight too. You know, lifting the weights too, because a lot of these guys—they're all jacked up. They're healthy. They do great. The, but still, I bring another perspective of you know the the therapeutic value of one person who struggled with it helping another person who struggled with it is without parallel. Um, that's what I bring. I currently hold. Um, Certified dietary manager license, certified personal trainer, certified fitness nutritionist um, are the three licenses that I hold. There's others relating to food and food safety, but it's not necessarily nutrition or weight loss. Um, so those I'll leave on the side. But I've been there. I live with it. I've currently just lost weight again, you know, again after the injuries. Um, I couldn't walk for six months, so I wasn't going to the gym. Then there was the painkillers, and you know, um, but it's there. It's it's the discipline is there. It's everyone needs a coach. You need maybe you think you do, maybe you think you don't. I don't know. I need one too. I need help with motivation. There's support groups, whatever. I'm here to help the next person. That is my gift back to life is to help other people who have struggled. Um, like I said, the fitness nutritionist license, the dietary management license, um, in addition to the food safety thing, which don't need to be mentioned, um, that applies more to working in, you know, in a, in a kitchen. But um, I think I'm going to end on that. That's my story. You know, my goal is to you know, part of getting sober was to how to give back to life. And my gift back to life, not only have I changed as a person by losing the weight and going through the emotions and, and then going back through school, the stress, how hard it was. It was so hard. But it was the single greatest thing I've ever done was going back and learning how to do this. Um, the personal trainer license is, you know, can be fairly easy. But um, it takes some, some work, but I love it. My goal is to give back to other people. One of the things, the many things I learned in school in one of the nutrition classes is 
the trends of what's going on in America today. Now, they show a map of America, the outlines of all 50 states, and it's just a general picture. And in picture one is, okay, in 1960, 10% of people were overweight. In 1970, 14% of people in America were overweight. So keep in mind, not, that the population is growing, and now it's also a bigger percentage. So it's the, the amount of obesity is it's it's growing exponentially. But now they get to this was in I want to say 2014 that I took this class with the, the map and showing all the statistics. That now just, I, I don't know the number off the top of my head. 60 percent of the country is obese. So some crazy number is obese. You we watch TV all day. Then you see you you're on the phone watching Netflix and you see commer I don't know about Netflix with commercials. I've never seen it, but you're watching Doritos, TGI Fridays, you know, all this stuff about that you're being bombarded with as well as myself being bombarded with Doritos, the Super Bowls commercials with Pepsi and the beer and and all the, you know, we're bombarded with it. The trend, I don't care so much as the trends, but I can tell you it is all reversible. But I'm only bringing it to the smaller scale, being as that I've lived through it with my own life. It can be changed. It can all, I totally believe it, as I am now losing weight again. It starts with one person. Your life can change. You know, it's not, maybe not all your issues will go away. My heart problem didn't go away when I lost weight. It, you know, um, obviously, but your diabetes can go away if it's type 2. This balance can go back to normal if, you know, if with diet. That balance, your injuries, your, hurt, your your back problems can go away with with losing weight and diet. Now, I remember when I went to the, the, the dietician 10 years ago, he was telling me about inflammation on my joints and telling me to take... Uh, a supplement called turmeric. Um, it's it's a spice that's used in food, mainly in Indian food, and I'm sure there's other ones too. But it's you know it's a spice. It actually tastes very good if you use the edible kinds with your food. It's it very it's kind of like red pepper or curry, something along those lines. If you wait, if you take the if you put it in food, it's very good. And I have it at the car, the kitchen I currently work in, and it's very good. But reduces inflammation on the joints. You know, there's things like that too. The nutritionist told me he says for every pound you lose, seven pounds of pressure is coming off your knees. So let's also reverse that too. For every pound you gain, you're adding, you're crushing your knees with an extra seven pounds per one pound you put on. So. It, every, a lot of things are reversible, you know. Not everything. My heart problem didn't go. You know, it got. You know, it didn't go away. But let me reverse that too. If I didn't lose the weight, I'd be dead. So, um, it didn't go away, but it also saved my life. I'd be dead if it weren't for losing the weight. Um, my goals for the future are to, I would to leak my, the. One of the things I have to work on is myself, is keeping up with what I've done, applying the same rules to myself. Again, I, my weight's gone up and down. There's painkillers, this, that, the heart surgery, the hernia, two hernia surgeries, the foot problem, you know. So my weight's gone up and down. But my goal is to bring this to one person at a time. I can't get to all 300 million people in America. That's never going to happen. But I can bring it to one person at a time. If I wind up training four people or 400 people, it doesn't matter. Because then what will happen is you will bring that to your family. And someone in your family will bring that to somebody at work. And that person at work will bring it to their families. That's how it works. We are, you know, to bring it to one person. I took the dietary management, the nutrition license. I took the, the fitness nutritionist license, the personal trainer license for this reason. It's to pay it forward. Um... My, yeah, I think I've been talking for about half an hour. I'm pu pushing 29 minutes. Um, I think I'm going to end it for with that. So um, I have to go somewhere now. It's 8 o'clock. i got to be somewhere in a few minutes. So, again, my name is Jeremy. Um, I will be posting this video up.
and um, you know I look forward to helping helping you. I again, you're you're the site that you're on. It's not for judgment. No one is judging you, especially myself. I've been there before. You know, it's to help you. It, it's to help you see that one, there's a problem, and two, there is a way to fix it, and now you have to do it. Which, if anyone else has gotten sober, will know exactly what that means. Where exactly where I got that from. Um, my goal is to pay it forward. So again, with that, I will not judge you. Um, I'm going to help you with the same thing as I walk through the path, the same path myself. So my name is Jeremy, and I look forward to hearing from you.